Yo, I just want to drop in real quick because DaVinci Resolve 19 is finally here and there's a lot of cool things, but I want to show you one of my favorite things so far from the live view that I just watched, uh, which is the audio. Um, so I'm in the Farlight page. I believe you can do it in the, in the regular page. That's what they showed on demo. I couldn't find it right now. I am using the beta version. Uh, so just keep that FYI. Um, but I will still show you exactly what I can do so far or what we can do so far if you download uh, the Resolve 19 version beta. So I have inside this audio and let me turn off these features real quick so I don't uh, lie about anything. But I, I have this regular audio, so I'll play this really quick. And it has vocals in there. And so the with the vocals, it's there's a couple songs that I use from Artless and I can't you know sometimes the artists will have the music in there sometimes they won't have the music um like they'll, they'll give you the instrumental versions basically and they'll have like different not really stems but kind of brackets of versions of their songs and there's a couple of good songs with the vocals and everything and i just i don't want to have that in everything so some songs i can't use for certain projects based upon what they're saying and whatnot uh because i keep it g-rated for the most part pg rated um and so i i have this ability now if i go into the farlight page which Typically, if you open DaVinci, it's inside the edit page or maybe inside the media page. But if you go to the far light, I hope I'm saying that right. I never know. Um, over here, you may have to add this uh, to your uh, page on here. Just make sure you look for these icons right here on the very end. Click this. And all the way down here, I've selected mine. But you want to go down to visible tracks. And in here, you have like your new file folders basically to, to organize it. I don't know if this was there before, but apparently it's a thing now that has a lot more so you have your voice isolation which I already have installed up here you have your dialogue leveler your dialogue separator which is really cool music mixer and ducker so what I want to show you right now is the music mixer and this is because this is this has been something I've really wanted the music mixer if you go over to here I have this audio again and it's a great song I don't get me wrong I just don't want to hear the vocals so I'm gonna go into the music mixer and inside of here, you have options to reduce your voice, to add up the drums, do the bass, add the guitar or other. I don't know exactly what other is. I'm assuming it's everything else but those three or those four tabs. And so if I want to mute the vocals, I just have to hit a button, click, and everything's done. Let me go back a little bit. It's that simple, y'all. This is insane. I'm not, I'm not joking, watch. Do y'all like is this not blowing y'all's mind ai like ai is is wow this is so crazy i don't know what it will sound like but i, I okay so i mix I'll, I'll just show you some stuff I'm, like, I'm supposed to be working today but i got sidetracked because of this and so i have um i'll show you this real quick if you stay with me just hang on with me i have the two different audio versions and I want the change of pitch and semitones basically just these photos right here let me bring this down I pitch one up a little bit and I pitch the other one down I want to say a tad bit let me bring this in there pitch it down to about six whatever so you're gonna hear a little mix it goes from sounding like basically this oh let me move to here this would be better to this and so what I want to do is I want to have maybe my low vocals in here and still keep the 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 artist's uh, sound in the background but still highlight the music in the, for, in the foreground so I'm gonna place this one on Let's take, uh, yeah, I already have it on here. So I took off the vocals. Let me just reset that. Just double click the reset. I'm hitting mute on here. And so I'm going to mute the, the, actually, let me enable this one and keep the first one muted. And so the lower semitone pitch one is, is there. And now this is what it sounds like. And I can pull it out. And it still works as an isolation too. So if I want to, I can go to the front. Let me take this off really quick. Is it 
and have her vocals on here. And I'll, I'll start, I'll mute some tracks on here. Now we have no drums. Let's take out the bass. Is it possible? Like, this is wild. This is so wild, y'all. I don't know what other is, but let me find out. And it, you hear the audio? So it keeps the ambience of, of the vocals and everything else. Like, it, it still keeps it in. I don't know how it's able to do so, but this is, like, mind I have I have zero reverb on this track, y'all. Zero. But it knows that reverb is in the original track. So this is insane as far as, like, the, the, the possibilities now because I can pull and like you know how many times I've had projects where I wanted to just boost up the drums or just boost up the bass or I guess guitar in certain scenarios but it's like do y'all not like this to me as an editor this used to make me so mad I had to go into Sony Acid Mixcraft and all those other different tabs this right here is a game changer like listen to this that's ridiculous Oh, well, seven billion people. This is wild. Wow. That's insane. I just wanted to drop in, show a quick video, like, oh man. I know the audio quality is probably not good on this video, the video, whatever. I don't care. I just want to show you guys something cool that I thought was really dope. So, thanks for watching the video. Subscribe. See you on the next one. Yeah. Mm. Is it possible, unbelievable, that all these voices speaking and not to me?